hi leo welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well this is going to be for leo sun moon rising venus and north node let's see what's going on for you guys okay i have a few oracle decks i'm going to pull from at the end please take um what resonates leave what does not fit for your situation okay don't stress yourself out over a story that's not fitting and also remember to flip and switch the roles okay um i could be talking about third party energy or your person or anybody else okay so let's see for Leo spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on for Leo? Messages for Leo. Please and thank you. Leo. <clears throat> what do we have for Leo? Okay, so we got four. Bottom of the deck is same shit, different day. All right. It says watching shit go down and join the gossip. Okay, so you could be watching somebody deal with some bullshit with someone else or somebody here likes to start drama and shit they like to somebody here likes to throw the rock and hide their hand type of thing yeah under spiritual attack fighting off negative energies fighting spiritual warfare needing to clear your energy okay somebody could be doing spell work or sending you just the evil eye crying over you sad hurt upset mm. uninterested okay Let's get this side of the deck. Somebody could be being revengeful. Somebody's revengeful because you're ignoring their offer. Okay, let's see. What else can we get for Leo Spirit, please? Or Leo. Glad it didn't fall on the damn floor. All right, thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have player. Yeah, somebody you could play basketball or like watching basketball. So we have dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people protected by haters, from haters. Then we have drama starter. Then we have putting on a show, yeah. <laughs> Those cards, I didn't even mean to get that many, but whatever. So yeah you don't have time for the bullshit you know so you're trying to duck and dodge this person whatever they're trying to throw at you you're dodging it you just you just don't want to be bothered with it okay let's see let's see what the cards say let's see what tarot says all right so spirit why is um watching shit go down enjoying the gossip here magician in the death card mm. Mm. seven of swords in the death card eight of cups in the death card all right why is um watching shit go down for leo <clears throat> the death card at the bottom okay could be dealing with the scorpio all right so something you're coming to an end maybe this is a transformative period for you leo you're letting shit go that are not that is not serving you at this time. Let's see, watching shit go down and join the gossip. Okay, yeah, five of swords. Somebody here likes to start shit. They like to be, they like to lie and cause conflict either between you and someone or they're just doing this just to do this to ruin you in a way, in a sense. But somebody who's very manip manipulative, they like to play mind games here. And they just, they do too much. It's like they want to win something at all costs. They don't care who they hurt in the process. This person could be a bully. They really are. Or they're trying to anyway. What else? Could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. What is watching shit go down and join the gossip? Yeah, the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's toxic. Somebody is toxic. And they like to they like to argue and shit. They like to fight. They could have addiction problems or something like that. But somebody here is just the devil. They just don't mean you know well. They could be, they, they really could just be fucking with your mental too. Whatever they're saying, whatever this gossip is, is, what is watching shit go down? Okay, Aries, so could be dealing with an Aries. Okay, never fails that Aries comes out like this all the time. <laughs> and some bullshit. What is watching shit go down and join the gossip? Yeah, that's that Aries. <laughs> Oh, this could be you. This could be you, Leo. Um, taking charge, yeah, taking action, maybe on a new love offer. 
or who is this king of wands because the king of wands upright could be somebody that's a leader they're very passionate they're a go-getter they're very charming okay very they could be a very nice person i mean sometimes they could be egotistical but let's see what is uh the king of wands right here for leo okay temperance yeah somebody that's off balance or somebody's trying to throw you off balance this could be just aries yeah temperance in reverse is somebody that's antagonizing you somebody keeps poking with you or picking with you okay they somebody here is imbalanced or just off a little bit oh, this is king of wands could be just okay king of cups in reverse somebody's emotionally manipulative it could be two masculines here doing this they're trying to cause you to be unstable or cold or or something like that or it could just they could just be have a personality disorder somebody here is fucking insane Let me just put it that way but yeah i feel like somebody's a, a bully they're trying to confuse you or, or they're talking shit about you here they're very unstable and they're very unkind <sighs> tragic could be dealing, could be a sagittarius with this king of wands too that you're dealing with so all fire signs really some of y'all could be dealing with other fire signs could be your own fire sign you're dealing with Mm. yeah somebody's reckless as fuck okay who is uh what is this under spiritual attack what is under spiritual attack for leo okay the fool yeah there's a new beginning coming for you you're trying to take a leap of faith somewhere and people don't want to see you do this whoever this person is or these people are they don't want to see you yeah two of cups again i'm seeing again there you are leo coming out that's an astrology card y'all when i throw them to the side just giving me signs about what's who's significant here so it could actually be a leo that's doing this bullshit okay not all leos are good leos just like i'm a taurus not all tauruses are good taurus so if it doesn't fit for you just say, say fuck it don't pay attention to it but yeah somebody is going towards somebody's maybe trying to go towards a love connection somebody that they love and that they want to be with but somebody's trying to cause spiritual warfare on someone or uh, let's see could be an aquarius or aries you're dealing with what else for under spiritual attack yeah ten of cups <laughs> Somebody does not want you to get this. It could be somebody in your family trying to cause chaos or trying to come between you and uh, somebody that you see that you can have a long-term stability with or emotional fulfillment with, happiness, peace, a family with. I feel like somebody's coming towards you, but there's definitely some attacking going on. There's a lot of gossip. People could do spell work with their mouth, okay? We do spells with our mouth, so it could be that. But uh, people could definitely be trying to do spell work other ways too. What is under spiritual attack for Leo? yeah the empress <laughs> somebody is trying to hurt the empress wow how dare you yeah the ace of wands six of cups yeah somebody's coming towards you for a passionate new beginning there is a chance that you guys might get pregnant okay when this person comes back because somebody is taking a leap of faith i feel like somebody is uh some of you guys could be going towards someone new but the six of cups right here so someone from your past that you're having a passionate new beginning with somebody here is thinking about you Okay, whoever the divine feminine is here, could be you guys that I'm talking to, Leo. Somebody is thinking about you. They want a family with you and they're coming to get you. But somebody is definitely raging spiritual warfare on this connection. Okay, somebody's really trying to hurt the Empress or, or talking shit about the Empress. Taurus Libra energy. <laughs> wow. That shit is going to backfire hard. <laughs> it surely is. So, that's cute. Whatever. All right. Could be masculines here that's hating on you or a women in masculine energy or something but what is crying over you sad hurt upset etc for leo okay two of cups yeah the world because you're going towards new love you're going towards somebody that loves you it could be somebody from your past like i was saying that loves you that wants to be with you and the karmic relationship that you have with someone else is over this cycle is closing out Okay, you successfully completed a cycle. Something is closing. It's just over. Now somebody's sad and, and, and worried and stressed and all of that. Because you're going into this new partnership here. Somebody here could have a lot of suitors. There could be a lot of people fighting over this feminine energy. Mm. What else for crying over you for Leo? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. 
So yeah, solid new beginning. Something here that's going to bring you stability, success. It could be some of you guys are getting a new job here. Some of you guys could have to travel for a new job. You could have met this person online. Any social media account that you have could have met this person. Um, but somebody, I feel like the divine is giving you the opportunity of something new, something fresh. Or this is a renewed relationship that's going to feel like it's new. It's going to feel fresh to you. But there's something coming in in regards to a, a, a new start that's going to be stable. Somebody here is going to be loyal. This could be a marriage even for some of you. Okay. Some of you, this is just a career a partnership where you guys are going to come together with someone and fall in love with someone at your job or something like that. Yeah. All right. So what is uninterested for Leo? Uninterested. Okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Something good is coming, Leo. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, The World, Ten of Cups, Divine Feminine. I mean, uh, the Empress with the Fool. Yeah. Something good is coming. You're going towards wealth, stability, success. Uh, some of you guys could be getting a inheritance money or a windfall of money is coming in. You're building upon something or something is going to be, uh, you're going towards a high level of commitment with someone. Yeah, you could be getting married with, to someone very uh, fairly quick. All right. Somebody could be after your wealth and your finances, okay? And you're just uninterested in them. You don't want to be with them here. <laughs> like, because you're going towards something much, much better. What else for uninterested? You know somebody's after your, your wealth. You had a star in reverse. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody here is in despair. They're hurt that you're not, that you don't have faith in the relationship with them anymore or something like that. Okay. <laughs> You've lost faith in this, con in that connection anyway, and you're going towards something that's more fulfilling anyways. So, you know, they're, oh, well. Yeah. What else were uninterested for Leo? Uh, yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody rushing in to talk to you or somebody could be mad that you're not interested in them. You don't want to be with them. They're in like despair. They're losing hope. They're they're sad. Whoever this is. What is this uh, Knight of Swords right here for Leo? Yeah, the Hangman in reverse. Somebody here that's in the Devil in the Tower. Yeah, somebody here that's it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with, but somebody here that's failing to like. This person keeps you stuck or stagnant here. They don't want you to move on. They just want you to stay stuck or trapped or. They don't want you to see something clearly, but they're rushing in. I feel like this is they're rushing in very impu uh, uh, impulsively, aggressively because they're they're mad, they're upset, and they're coming at you with some bullshit with the devil in the tower. They're trying to cause chaos here. They're trying to break up what it is that you have with your person. Okay. Yeah. What else for the Knight of Swords right here? Okay. Yeah. Seven of Swords. They're a liar. <laughs> This person is a liar. They're a con. And you can't believe shit that they're saying. This person could have cheated on you or something like that. But you're, yeah, your emperor is here. The emperor's with the emperor. So, I mean, it's just like, yeah, this person is coming towards you with more lies, more bullshit. They could have tried to steal some money from you or something like that. What is this star right here in reverse for Leo? Okay, page of swords. So, there, so if you're losing hope in a situation, you're going to receive some type of clarity because maybe a younger air sign is coming in to speak with you. It could be an Aquarius specifically that's coming in to talk. Or this is this person watching you here. You could be receiving some type of information, though maybe about some money as well is what I'm picking up too. What else for the star with the page of swords? What else for the star in reverse with the page of swords? Okay, yeah, Aquarius just popped out. So it could be an Aquarius. What else for the star in reverse with the page of swords? Virgo. Star in reverse, page of swords, spirit. Two of pentacles. So right now you could be juggling your finances, but I feel like you're receiving, you could be losing hope about this money, but I feel like it's coming in. Okay, if you're juggling right now, trying to gather up resources to maintain your life or whatever is going on with you, you could be receiving a paper uh, in the mail or some delayed news or something that's coming in finally about whatever this is. Okay, but I do feel like this, um, yeah, Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Um, what I was going to say. Oh, damn, my ears ringing. <laughs> my ears just went like crazy. What the fuck? I just lost my train of thought. 
um no i was i was gonna say i still feel like this person here is is in despair about whatever this is you're getting or whatever you're going towards the queen of pentacles flipped out with the eight of cups so yeah i feel like this person here whoever this queen of pentacles is in reverse is a very dark energy they're bitter they're jealous and they're just a mean-hearted person and they're money hungry here so i feel like they're trying to return to you they're coming back for some more bullshit to get to get you going here this came out for a reason this queen of pentacles in reverse does dark magic as well they could do they could be into divination the occult but the dark side of it yeah this is this person that could be sending you doing spell work or sending you evil shit or whatever the fuck yeah you divorce this person they're very disloyal they're a cheater yep and this could be this person that's mad or pissed off that's coming towards you here okay whatever this could be a mother figure or somebody that here that you were married to or something yeah so what is this uh dodging bullets right here for leo the queen of wands damn so we got the the empress the queen of pentacles in reverse we got the king to the queen of wands okay there's a match that's what i was looking for because we got too many people out here now uh yeah so the queen of wands upright is a really good energy this person is very beautiful inside and out they're confident they're courageous they're bold they take action on whatever they want to do here they're very creative okay but yeah somebody's very sexy too the queen of wands is known to be very sexy very alluring intriguing here this person so this is you that could be blocking that's you aries uh aries leo sagittarius that could be blocking um what <clears throat> whatever the haters are saying about you here you could be blocking okay or you're trying to block, duck and dodge this queen of wands. Let's see, what else for dodging bullets for Leo? Okay, Pisces. What else for dodging bullets? Okay, ace of wands. Yeah, somebody's definitely sexually attracted to someone. Somebody's beautiful. Somebody thinks somebody is very beautiful. Somebody's very creative too. Okay, who is this queen of wands though for Leo? Let's see. Who is this queen of wands? Okay, Ace of Cups, yeah, in reverse. So this this Queen of Wands here could be representing somebody that a love connection here that you you were you were invested in at one point or somebody was that or that doesn't have to be that. It could be that this is you, Queen of Wands person, or whoever it is, is disappointed in love or has been disappointed here in love. So now it's just like they don't they're trying to like block like repress their emotions and just have fun right now i was gonna say have sex but that's kind of like you know extra but you know just have fun okay maybe a bit of traveling going on or there's a there's a, a new passionate beginning starting it looks like but somebody's emotions somebody has trust issues somebody's emotions are like uh somebody's been disappointed or they're sad about something what else for this queen of wands with the ace of cups in reverse okay north node yeah so that's yeah three of cups five of wands there could be a lot of people fighting over this person somebody's sexy as fuck <laughs> i know it's probably you leo because y'all the leo women are definitely and the men whoo what child the men look so good but you know there's a match here there is a match this king of wands here and the queen of wands your person here i don't know they're involved with something who's this empress right here let's see who's this empress for leo the empress who's this empress okay ace of swords Has somebody seen the truth about something so this person here is, is uh, one more for the empress with the ace of swords okay the hierophant yeah so you want a high level of commitment with someone with your person somebody here could be strong taurus placement or libra but you definitely this empress here is under spiritual attack by somebody whoever i mean it's a lot of people here now i just feel like it's a lot of people involved but um uh, this empress could be this queen of wands right here with this king of wands this could be who the empress is they represent both queens i mean yeah mm -mm. what is this ace of cups in reverse with the queen of wands what is ace of cups in reverse okay ten of wands and the four of pentacles yeah holding back okay two 
too many things on somebody's plate. It could be finances here, which is why somebody here wants to connect with you, but they're, I don't know if they're like fucking, they're trying to hold on to their finances or something like that. Something about their finances. They can only, I feel like I'm, I'm hearing like somebody can only have sex with you. They can't really do much because there's something going on with this person's finances or something. Okay. I'm also picking up. Somebody here could, could have been hiding some money or stealing some money, trying to cause instability. Yeah, I feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles here, but it's other people involved somehow. Uh, okay, something like that is going on. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse could have been a thief, a liar, a con, or trying to hide money from somebody. Or trying to stop somebody's creative pursuits here. Somebody is a hater. And this is causing a burden for someone because somebody has to like penny pinch. Somebody's financially insecure, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, could be hiding some money or something is going on like that. This Ace of Cups in reverse, though, is definitely giving. Um, somebody here could have lost a child, even. I'm sorry to hear that. Miscarried or aborted a child or whatever that is right there. Somebody's heart chakra is closed. Somebody needs to work on their heart chakra or their, their feelings. King of Cups right here is in reverse you know with the ace of cups in reverse somebody needs to work on their yeah because we got all the ace of swords ace of pentacles ace of wands ace of cups all four aces are here that's the only ace in reverse somebody here needs to work on their heart chakra and in order to move to the next level they're gonna have to really um open up because they're closed off and it's burdening the fuck out of them they're weighed down somebody here is disappointed in love it could be you it could be whoever the feminine energy is here this is feminine here, but I feel like this is uh, somebody, this King of Wands too is out of balance though. So I, I don't know, some weird shit going on with that. It could be that the spell work is, is getting to somebody. Could be. Take it how it resonates. But let's see, what is drama starter for Leo? What is drama starter? Okay. Yeah, the judgment in reverse with the lovers in reverse. Yeah, because there's a connection here that's over with. Yeah, and I feel like this is this lovers in reverse talks about uh disharmony, talks about somebody here having trust issues here. I feel like it's because of this karmic. Somebody's learning a karmic lesson here. There's a lot of fighting, arguing, and shit going on. The judgment in reverse is definitely learning a um a karmic lesson that keeps repeating or with someone. Okay, somebody here lacks self awareness. Somebody here is just not getting the hint. Okay. And I feel like it's a karmic energy that's not getting the hint here. Because they're, they're just mad because this shit is over with with them. Now they're trying to cause drama and start fights and conflicts and shit. What, what is this? Um, Somebody here made a poor decision too. The gossip here. Somebody's gossiping a lot. Okay. What else for drama starter? Okay. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Somebody's stuck in their head. Somebody's like mentally not okay. Somebody needs to get their shit together. You guys have been seeing 888. Eight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like things are going to shift, though. But somebody here needs to get their shit together. This gossip could have been keeping your person stuck in their head for a long time. Because maybe they lack self-awareness. But I feel like it's this karmic here that's starting drama or just really, like, being manipulative. Somebody could really like popcorn. Like, a lot. <laughs> I hate popcorn because if it's not extra buttery with sugar on it, I'm not eating it. And I don't really like a lot of... I don't really eat a lot of um, sugary shit, you know? I do put sugar in my food, but it's... That's, I would have to put a lot of sugar on popcorn and butter to like it because I just cannot do popcorn. <laughs> but um, yeah, what is putting on a show right here? Yeah, two of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's... What else we're putting on a show with the two of swords in reverse? The star upright right here. So Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's going towards healing. Okay, they're trying to be optimistic because somebody's not confused anymore about what somebody's doing. Somebody sees that somebody's mentally disturbed <laughs> and they need to go get the help that they need. Not even trying to be funny, but it's true. Whatever. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> Somebody needs the help and that's okay because people need help, like whatever. But somebody's not confused anymore or not in illusions or confused about whatever this person needs here. Somebody needs, see, is seeing that somebody really needs help with the star and the two of swords in reverse. It's like it's clear as day. What is this two of swords in reverse right here? Okay, South Node. Yeah, somebody's karmic as fuck. What is this Two of Swords in Reverse? Learning a karmic lesson, Scorpio. Two of Swords in Reverse. 
Okay, five of wands. Yeah, somebody just likes to put on fight, like start drama and shit. That's what somebody's realizing. This is why somebody's some uh, money was stagnant or somebody's movement here was stagnant or something was never going to come in. Okay, but somebody's using their intuition now with the, the high priestess. Could be dealing with the cancer, uh, cancer Pisces. Yeah. So somebody's not stuck in illusions. Or delusions no more. They, they won't be anymore soon. I feel like this empress here knows the truth here. Somebody's this empress could be a tarot reader or like a spiritual a spirit spiritual guru, okay, or something like that. They could be a spiritual advisor. This is how this person can make their money. But whoever this divine feminine is is highly protected from this bullshit. And mm, you're gonna get the happiness. Whoever the divine feminine is, they're gonna get the happiness that they deserve and want anyways. So let's get some more information. Spirit guys, angels for Leo. Um, what is going on with Leo? Let's get some more clarity for this spread. This deck is called the Truth Rising Deck by Fire Witch Tarot. She's on Etsy. If you're interested, I know people like to know about my decks. So it's better when the titles are on them because sometimes I just don't be remembering. And it takes so much to go back and look and scroll past all the decks I got because I got a lot of decks. Um yeah past life karma somebody yeah what else first leo what else is going on so it says stable woman they have their shit together yeah <laughs> whoever this is maybe queen of wands and this empress here has their shit together somebody is you know they happy with what they got going on okay so we have tapping tapping into energies yeah somebody fucking around with the energies temperamental so somebody's just mad that somebody's just has a disorder or something perfectionist okay hack somebody could be trying to hack into your account red flags okay sketchy there's something off about them yeah clearly <laughs> past life karma okay then we have fancy living someone used someone someone's used to living the good life okay i don't know how long that shit's going to be because i feel like somebody is losing that because whoever you were with leo whoever your person was with is uninterested in them now yeah happy relationship there's a happy there's something coming in there's a relationship coming in definitely some of you guys could be eloping running off and getting married it says unwanted opinions people giving you unsolicited advice or feedback yeah that's that coming from that gossip there whatever that shit is okay what else for leo spirit more clarity in regards to the spread for leo Yeah, bipolar disorder. Somebody here has a bipolar disorder. Strong female has been through a lot. Yep, there's a feminine energy that's very strong. And is going to get what they want regardless. Lustful vampire sexual drainage. Oh, I'm just getting like a succubus energy. Sheesh. Someone needs to take care of their health. Okay. Watch, watch who you're having sex with. Just saying. Or whoever this is. Self-judgment, so somebody being critical of themselves. That's going to be what that judgment is in reverse or something. Then we have emotional abuse. Okay, somebody could be emotionally abusive. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Someone doesn't want to be seen. Hmm. A cry for help. Wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. Yep. Broken promises. Someone has broken or is about to break a promise. Hmm. Scream goes to extremes for attention. Yep. Tatted person. Somebody here is tatted. Competition. Someone's in competition with you or ha or sees you as competitive. Then we have overworked. Someone is doing way too much. Let's get a few more. Okay. Three more. All right. Thank you. So we have energy vampire. This person is draining your energy. Yeah, somebody is around somebody that's really just draining as fuck. Then we have liar. Somebody here is a liar, obviously. Planning a secret escape. Yeah, cutting ties. <laughs> then we have switching up. They're switching up on you. No, I don't know if that's good or bad. Gamble, taking a risk. Okay. The X factor. Someone's still caught up with an X, needing to X people out that are toxic, etc. Mm-hmm. 
stripped and cleansed you are being purified by spirit chaos so a lot of arguments fighting bullshit going on diva okay somebody here's a diva somebody could be an entertainer or something and then we have a karma you or their time has come <laughs> yeah guards up this person's guard is always up bottom of the deck is uh power hungry then we have black magic under that yeah so you know somebody's definitely trying to fuck with the energies they definitely are i mean i feel it anyway i don't want somebody's trying to do this shit let's pull from the situations deck by um intuitive envisions 11 11 on etsy as well okay okay for leo spirit what else is going on for leo what other clarity can we get Bottom of the deck, we have magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. Yep, so let's see. Divine feminine, okay, so, yep, something here about the divine feminine. Nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Somebody here could live in, in Vegas, okay, somebody here could like to really drink and party a lot or whatever. You guys can work in the nightlife. Like, I feel like some of you guys are entertainers or something like that, but this is the second time we saw take a risk or gamble. So somebody here is definitely ready to take a risk with you alien telepathic dreams or songs okay you guys could connect that way through dreams music have a telepathic connection definitely with somebody uh plugged tuned in internet connected okay somebody watching you from the internet or something like that meeting two or more people discussions planning okay hmm. lockdown mental prison confined somebody here could I feel like somebody somebody meets up with people or or goes and pays for like some type of spell work or something to keep you trapped or stuck in some type of cycle. But I do feel like somebody wants to talk to you. I do. Interlude, pause, timing factor, yeah. Happiness, wholeness, overjoy, smiling. Then we have history, past, happened. So maybe this already happened already for some of you. A lot of this is past or this situation is just history. You like it's old news. You don't want to bo you know be bothered with it anymore. Okay, we have threatened, embarrassed appearances. Okay, somebody here is embarrassed. Wished, hope, praying, yearning. Okay, soulmate, similar friendship, romantic partner. Okay, so you guys could be meeting a soulmate here. All right, come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Yep, you're reconciling with your soulmate. It could be a twin or something. Maybe it is just a soulmate though. Roller coaster, high is high, adrenaline rush. Okay, then we have sold. Moving physical location change, uh, desire, less sexual chemistry. Okay, then we have love affair, dirty little secret down low. So maybe this was somebody could have been doing here, indulging in other sexual encounters with other people. This is why they're moving out of a home or divorcing or leaving someone. But I feel like you and your person have a strong sexual bond too. King of Wands, Queen of Wands together. Yeah. Okay. We have searching online, looking for info, records. Yeah, then we have single, current status, available. So, yeah. So, whoever this is, it's now available. Mm, I feel like somebody's online digging up some type of information. Yeah, we have Divine Masculine. Oh, shoot. I thought we had Divine Masculine. <laughs> we have Divine Feminine here. I'm about to say now we have the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. But there are counterparts here, though. So, yeah. But, okay, guys. This was your reading. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Leo.